the last uh, two minute debate. It is driver's ed versus GTA. Can I get Blake Hebb and Travers Milo? Come on down! <laughs> All right, so what we're doing is we're officially cutting and editing that and putting that into the beginning of every two-minute debate from now on in. Yeah, promo reel. I didn't. The hammer did. The hammer's my penis. All right, can I get a dice roll, please? No. It doesn't matter which mic. We have a three and a six. Six. All right, Travers. You you've got one minute of talky talk. Talk to us about driver's ed. Go. This is such a perfect time of year to defend the scariness and real life adrenaline of driver's ed, isn't it? Perfect time of year. Blake, I give it to you. As far as video game scenarios go, GTA stands tall. I'm not going to argue that. But you know, if someone were to have a camera inside a driver's ed vehicle doing a POV video made of student drivers trying to nab their way around Halifax, Dartmouth, downtown, Fairview, right? Think of the places. And you can see that this would look so much more violent and scary and fun, right? Wouldn't it? <laughs> Come on. And look, think back to your driver's ed teacher, right? I remember my driver's ed teacher. Look, when I took driver's ed way back, okay? Way back, Trevor's iPad would have been an abacus, okay? Way back. <laughs> I know my driver's head teacher had more gray hair and faster than any other teacher in the school. And there was a reason for that, right? Because driver's head was that much more frightening and scary than any video game could be now. And that's how many parents refuse to teach their kids how to drive because they don't want to get that gray hair. They know how frightening it is for people learning how to drive. And with, with the weather conditions in Halifax right now, there's your life skills, learning to drive in Halifax right now in mid-February. Yeah. Fast and Furious 9, Halifax Drift. <laughs> driver's now, ed, now driver's it's a like version of Grand Theft Highfield Park. <laughs> Come on. That's just whoa, 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 whoa. That is so. way too violent for a video game. Okay, Grand Theft okay. Armdale Roundabout. <laughs> just don't sell it at Halifax Shopping Center. Too soon. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about today's, but now I'm excited to see what Blake says. Oh, boy. <laughs> Blake, awesome. you have one minute of talky talk. Talk to me about GTA. Go. Oh, I just take the bus. But, uh, <laughs> GTA... <laughs> Whip! <laughs> Whip! GTA renders driver's ed completely irrelevant. First of all, in the greater Toronto area, the bus system is always on time. The runs are frequent. In the greater Toronto area, the snow removal is always on point. You can get wherever you need to go easily, either by walking or by the fantastic public transit system. Furthermore, the greater Toronto area has had the most charismatic and beloved of mayors in Rob Ford. And let me tell you, Rob Ford, he's the kind of guy, you know, he would go out with his friends for a great night, wind up killing a hooker to get his money back, and then he'd drive his car into the sp spray and pray to get those two stars off. Someone took the blue pill. Does the spray and pray work for cancer? Oh. No? No. No one unless, here knows about Rob Ford's cancer. Okay, I feel awkward now. Cancer. As you should. Spoilers. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. All right, anyways. So it's up to you, guys. As always, is the winner, Blake with GTA. <laughs> or is it Travers Milo with Driver's Ed? And the winner is Blake with GTA. <laughs> Toronto never wins. That's what hockey's about. Oh. Toronto is bad. This is the ultimate show.